pero Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. How are you guys doing? What's the tea? What's going on, honey? Is it on? Is it on? Is this thing recording? Is it on? Is it on? Is this thing recording? Hi, babies. What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Scrub, BGC. Now, Murder, how you know I didn't want no more of that? You got a whole apple juice in there. It don't matter if I had like a whole I apple juice in there. You got a whole apple juice. Now, I was going to drink your apple juice. Don't drink my apple juice. That's why I drank this. Now, go ahead and please do your intro. Girl, this is threw me off from my motherfucking intro. You go down there and get me another, a whole jar of that. Y'all went to the gas station, didn't they? They got to make the gas station. Lego, you said you uh, you can't stop singing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's going on, everybody? Okay, y'all. So, I was quite a little busy today. Um, and I was busy yesterday. And so, I really didn't get an opportunity to talk about the video that was going viral. I just made a post about it. And I moved, and I moved on. Okay. Um, I was uh, I've been I was uh, filming something earlier, and um, yeah, thank you. Your truth be told, I love you. So I was filming something earlier, girl, and I'm done now. Um, it was something light, but it was it was something light, but it was something good. But anyway, no, you can't have my apple juice. No, no, girl. So anyway, I want to talk about that video that I saw yesterday. Um. I want to say shout out to Hope. Hi, Anthony. I want to say shout out to Hope. Thank you, Hope, for going in there and, you know, really digging over in there. And, you know, I applaud you for being such a really great activist like that and, like, really getting over in there and not talking about it and just making a video about it and going and, like, really getting deep off and into that. And helping that boy, you know. I was so disturbed by that. It was the comments. But what was so disturbing, more disturbing to me in the whole situation is it's like all the black people that was applauding that shit, like like that was not abuse. Like all the black black people, do you know we just listen, Juneteenth is just today. <laughs> I don't even know if I really want to even have this conversation. I'm so disappointed with black people. So disappointed, so disappointed, and so hurt. And they was, and they weren't really. They was real trashy ass niggas, like dirty. Tra- and I'm trying to keep my mouth open because they're still that boy family and stuff like that. But they was real garbage can ass bitches. The sister, the sister, the, the nigga, this, this, hitting this, that boy, this, 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 pushing, this, this, pushing and shoving that boy and stuff. Real. Trap ass, and and mind you, them be the kind of mm-mm, t- Madison. No, no Madison. Don't say it, Madison. I'm not gonna do it. Try this the old wig. Try this wig so old. I didn't even think about it, talking about it. It's just, I was so dis. It's terrible, man. Chi Chi said something to me the other day in the room that was so. Bitch, no. 
I was finna pull it in because I thought that was Lynn. This is the gray hair. Ooh, I was finna yank her. There's gray hair <laughs> under my arm. She just said something to me yesterday that was. She just said that there are parents out there who would rather their child be a murderer, mm -hmm. a drug dealer, yep. a fuck nigga, than to be a felon and to be a fag. And I get it. I go. No, I get it. But when I this be my this be my plea to black people say it, say when I be talking to stuff with talking about stuff to black people. I be like You want white people to be so you want white people to be right to you. But you ain't right to your own kind. But you gonna be right to your own faith. Your own faith. Your own faith. Even when the faith be your family. Even when the phase be your blood, your kid, you want, but you want white people to be right to you. And white people need to be right to us, bitch. They need to be fucking right to us. Bitch, just like you need to be right to your fucking own. Man, I just, I, I feel like I be just talking and talking and talking. And you know, and then you read what the fuck them them raggedy. It was mother one comment for me. The comment said, "Say they can't see you." The comment said, and I quote: "I mean, I really don't see nothing what's wrong with the video. I mean, like y'all y'all making it a big old issue by 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 him abusing the boy. I will abuse my son if my son was gay." I'm like, what? What the fuck is you doing? And me personally, this how I really, I've been through situations like that when I was young. That happened to me when I was young. You feel what I'm saying? My brother used to try to beat me or used to try to, you know, like, attack me because I was gay. But that didn't do nothing because when I got to school and the trade did that at school, I'm going to attack the trade. Yeah, but. And it's the strip. It's, it's the wanting to be, it's the wanting to be treated right by white people for me. And you treat your fags and queens and trans and folks and you treat them away. And you want to be treated away by the other people. I said this and I said this shit on my motherfucking morning show. Until you do right by your gays, the the la the whip ain't never coming off of the back. It ain't never coming off. But it ain't even that. I feel like my my my. It ain't never coming off until you do right by the. Faggots that's in your own house, in your own, you hoes will sit around there and disown yep. the, the, the homosexuals life. in your family, but you will protect the bitches that's molesting. Uncle Pete, you know Uncle Pete sticking fingers in every every young girl that come out of the bitch pussy. So he done stuck fingers in your pussy. He done stuck fingers in you, and you y'all protecting Uncle Pete. Yeah, but see, that's you, you, it's just it's backwards. It's, backwards it's just so backwards. Like, what did the fags do to you? And somebody said to me the other day, well, you know, gay people is part of population control. I was like, bitch, you ain't seen Nick Cannon blasting off in a bitch. You don't see Fatty Wap no seeing that seeing our dog ass bitch Why? got got his dick and got his dick and blasted you. When did the fags ever stop y'all from laying you y'all funky comedinas down and let somebody bust in y'all and you be down there ever? The, the thing is, the population control with you motherfucking hoes is bitch, you bitches abort, 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 stop abort, abort, baby abort, baby. abort, 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 abort. Because y'all hoes don't know who y'all baby did me y'all want to kill the baby. They ain't got nothing to do with the punk. Abort, abort, abort. The punks ain't had nothing to do with right. it. The punks told you not to fuck that nigga. Abort, 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 abort. And when a lot of you motherfucking hoes start telling me how I'm jealous of you hoes because you got puss, bitch, you don't even want your pussy, bitch, because you keep a vacuum cleaner in the motherfucker. <laughs> you don't even want the churn you can have, bitch. You keep, you keep sucking them out, bitch. I, I, I 
I just be sitting. I really be. That little boy is brave as fuck. That's a brave ass little boy. I can't believe that. Why well, I can't believe it. What did the gays do to y'all? Big mama done told y'all that God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. And, and her big mama told her that. Right. And her big mama told her that shit. And so you motherfucking hoes that, that, that halfway read the book. You hoes ain't halfway read a book in school telling me what the Bible say. Because I be trying to figure out what is the problem with the gay. You know, you could be everything What's in this world problem? but a homo. And I don't like every living gay because I don't fuck with every gay. Right. And every trans and every punk, punk and queen is, I don't fuck with everyone because every one of them don't fuck with me. But I be saying, what I be trying to figure out with the straights. I'm trying to figure out. What the gays did to you? What they did? You know what you know, we talk about this. I don't, I just, I. I sat there and watched that video. I watched it over and over and over and over and over. And I said, these be the niggas out there screaming. Because y'all trap, them trap ass niggas like that always screaming about the crackers this and the crackers that and the crackers. And be like, nigga, you won't see what you do to your own people? Yeah. You want you want to be you want to be loved and treated right? Treat the people right in your fucking house. In your own fucking house, colored. You fucking colored. Yeah, it's hot. gonna make it hot. It's just a disgrace. A shame and a disgrace. Just a shame and a fucking disgrace. <laughs> And fucking disgusting. Very. Colors. I get sick of you motherfuckers. Always somewhere on your toes talking about what the what the fuck the crackers did to your bitch ass. And you be doing this the fuck shit to your own colored peepers. And I don't want to hear none of you long titty, saggy, draggy titty motherfuckers talk about Those how how Gay and, and people being gay and people being black ain't the same it's thing. Well, you damn sure thing. treated the same fucking way. You damn sure treat the shit the same motherfucking way. You damn sure treat it the same way. I don't see the difference in the bitch because I be looking at the motherfucking shit like, girl, what's wrong with the niggas? Nigga, do you? I never stop saying the same thing. I never stopped saying the same thing. You couldn't even look at a white bitch. You couldn't even look at a white bitch just 60 years ago. 60 years in a long time. Some of your mamas is 60. Actually, some of your great grandmothers is 60 because the, the motherfuckers been fucking since they was two. And so some of your great grandmamas is 60 years old, bitch. And so you, 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 mm -mm. Mm -mm. you couldn't even look at a white bitch. I don't want to see no gays on TV. You remember when they told when they they bitch they had Negro Day? Remember it was Negro Day, and you ain't have but thirty minutes to fifteen minutes to do the, the Negro Day. I'm so disappointed in the colored peoples. I'm so disappointed in the colored folk because the colored folks is is the it's the, you, the, we the most fucked over, fucked out, tore up, drug down set of people. But the way we turn around and do that shit to the gays. Nobody, no, don't, don't nobody. And I made the status yesterday and I say, hey, y'all. Um, I just want to say you'll never be able to beat it out of a child. You'll never be able to pray it out. You'll never be able to ther therapy it out. If it's, it's in your DNA. If God called you to be a motherfucking fae, 
that's what you go that's what it's gonna be i don't give a damn how you beat beat drag none of that shit i don't give a damn what you do it ain't coming out it's like a bleach stain on your dna it ain't coming out It ain't coming. And somebody wrote on there and say, listen, I disagree with you. I feel like you seen something. Bitch, I ain't seen nothing when I came out the puss. I didn't see nothing but, but blackness. Darkness, bitch, darkness. And I always ask the people cheering, when you knew you was straight people? When, when you found out that you was a straight motherfucker? When you knew that? When? Somebody had to touch y'all. Somebody had to put their hands on. Hold on, chick, because I hear that shit. Somebody had to put their hands on you. Somebody had to put their fingers and toes in you. No, somebody put their fingers and toes in your ass. And bitch, you still a straight motherfucker. You still a straight bitch. You still straight. So I don't get it when, when gays tell y'all they knew from they... You can see that boy young. What his name is? Tyler. You can see he young. I used to work at a group home with badass children. I used to work at a... a kids home and I remember a kid this had to be 20 years ago and I really wish I could find that child that child probably don't even know it's me I really wish I could find that child his name was Terod and when I saw that child that child had to possibly about seven eight years old that child was a homosexual the child was a homosexual and there was let me tell you it was two it was two folks in that home the boy was a homosexual and all the boys that were trying to fight on him and all this stuff, they couldn't, he, 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 they couldn't take him because he was gay. Now, he didn't know he was gay. I knew what the fuck was going on. I knew. Okay? Because I was looking at his ass. I said, this is a look. Dude. But who, who, knew, who knew he was gay was his piece of trade. Because when you really want to bust it down the middle to the fucking white meat, it was two folks in there struggling with his with their identities. It was the damn the, the goddamn queer boy who was a, who was all the way fag all the way, and it was the one over there that used to watch him. That I really felt like that if they grew up that that was gonna be his husband, because that little little boy used to always try to fight on him, or always try to you know you know. Because he was attracted to him. See, it's two types of it's two types of homosexuality go on. Okay? It's two types. You motherfucking hoes create both of them, both types. Cause that, that look the, the the one I used to tell that boy, get your fucking hands off of him. You better put your mother you better not touch him. Or you better not bitch, you better get your ass over there and sit down. Because he would always pick on that boy and always try to fight fuss with that boy. But he really lived for that boy. He really loved it, that, that boy. Them was two boys. One was the thug and one was the goddamn fish patty. But they both knew who what the fuck they was. Well, they didn't. I know that fish patty would knew what he was. But the other boy, they know what he was. He didn't know why. I don't know why I like it. I don't know why I keep picking at this boy or trying to jump on this boy. But I think it's because I like him. I like him. I like the boy. You know? They the same thing. One masculine, one feminine. But both of them doing this. Both of them, is, you know. And they don't understand it. But them children, was, one was eight. The other said eight, nine. It was in that area. And I was just like, you fucking... I'll knock your ass. You put your hands on that damn boy, I'll knock your ass out. And I don't give a damn. I talk to children like that. Sit your bad ass down, bitch, before I backhand your ass. Sit your motherfucking ass down before I backhand your ass. And so... Yeah, we watching Congo back over there. But my thing was when I, I really learned about sex, working in that group home, I learned about sexuality. I learned about attraction in, in a young age. I learned about, I learned just about watching them kids. I just watching them like, wow, this one know that this one, this one, this, this, this the trade. 
This is this this boy right here to trade, and this is the fucking goddamn queen. This the homosexual right here. But this is the one that's attracted to the homosexual. He don't know what the fuck going on in his spirit why he like this one, but it's because they it's okay. Got it. You say I need to adopt some children? Mm-mm. I don't want to have I don't, I don't I don't play with kids. Turn that shit down, teach you a little bit, please. I don't play with children. I don't play with children because I don't got time for that shit. I whoop a child. And I was I was raised up in the age of whooping children. This is the age right now you can't whoop a child. Try a child run down there and tell on you you going to jail. For them showing out of school when they need their ass whooped. I don't got time for that. I whoop this child right here. Mm. You bitch. Oh. Bitch, you. I whoop this child. I don't got time for that. Mm mm. I don't want no kids. Let them no. I don't want no motherfucking children. Mm mm. But when I sat there and I looked at this stuff and I just was like, I was really so confused. I just be so confused at people saying shit that they don't have. And it comes from them not having no experience or or not having no damn knowledge on some shit. But black people just be disappointing my spirit. They disappoint me. I be like, nigga, you black. How could you, how could you, how could you understand any type of injustice to anything? You are colored. How can you, how could you understand? How can you accept? How could you agree with anything with anything any inequality how could you You are a nigga. You don't forgot you was a nigga. You don't forgot. Oh, you know, I won't you, you gotta treat me right, but them gays no. God don't like them. What? What? What happened? Anything God don't like, he gonna destroy it, bitch. Since we believe in anything that God don't like, he going to destroy. He going to send a lightning bolt. He going to send an earthquake. He going to send a motherfucking goddamn tsunami. He going to fuck it up. And don't nobody. Don't none of you bitches can't help God. No, he don't need your help. You ain't got the same amount of power. You ain't got the same amount of you don't got bitch. You don't have the authority that God got. He don't need your fucking help. He don't need your help, boo. You weren't even here when he spoke and the world came together. He don't need your help, bitch. Get the fuck out my face. God ain't struggling in the department where he needs your help, bitch. Stay out his way. Because God don't play by me. I watched that whole video. and Oh, you said you seen me in the movie theater yesterday? Yes, work out, babe. I watched that whole video. Then I watched him over there trying to coach. Say what you need to say. I was like, girl, you motherfucking niggas is disgusting. Y'all will be the first one, bitch, out laying on the ground. Bullet in your ass, knee on your neck. And and we, defer, we, we fags is the first things to run out there on the front line because we understand about inequality and injustice. We understand that. We understand it because this is what we live on a day-to-day basis. Not just not just from fucking for racism. We got to deal with that shit in our own damn community. So, bitch, we understand it. And so we be on the front line of scrimmage. We be on the front line of scrimmage, bitch, because we understand it. How you colored black 
motherfucking doo doo brown mother bitches don't get it. Oh, that gay shit don't got nothing to do with me. I hate what God hate. Well, bitch, if you hate what God hate, bitch, you need to hate your own stupid ass. I'm so disappointed with colors. It's ridiculous. Colors disappoint me out of all the shit. The colors disappoint me the most. How you don't understand? How can you see the... Yeah, we don't want that influencing the kid. I was sitting here last night watching TV and it was fish in the damn tray of their dick riding at sucking cock. A whole heap of carrying on. I told Chi Chi, I said, Chi Chi, when I was growing up, I never seen two men do shit on TV. But yet here I go with titties in a dick. I never seen two men fucking and sucking. Never. I never seen anything like me on television. I am 44 years old. I never seen anything like me on TV. Nothing. But here I go. All this pussy I done seen busting wide open, riding, licking, dicks. The first set of pornographic movies I ever saw was a man dog, jackhammering a bitch from the back. Power driving a bitch from the front. Uh, uh, uh. I ain't never seen no two gays and two women. I seen two both fucking women's on TV kissing before I seen two goddamn men's. I seen two women's holding hands and shit like that before I seen two men. Y'all bitches, kid, you're influencing the children. And you're influencing bitch who? Cause I what influence me? I wanted to be a motherfucking low down dirty bitch. To be a low down dirty bad bitch because I heard little kids say, I don't want dick tonight. I'll eat my, my pussy, pussy right. right. Hey. The moral of the story is this you ain't licking this, you ain't sticking this. And I got witnesses. Ask any nigga I've been with. They ain't hit shit till they stuck their tongue in this. Bitch. That's the kind of music I heard, and I used to hear Uncle Luke say, Don't stop, pop that pussy, let me see you, doo doo brown. I heard more about pussy, dick, and titties, and fuck two men's and women's fucking, than I ever knew anything about no gay. I don't know shit about no fucking gay. But guess what? I got titties and a dick. Guess what? I was born motherfucking goddamn. I came in the world as T.I.M. And I turned into M-A-D-D-I-E. And so therefore, bitch, when y'all be talking about the influence, they had to have seen something that made them homosexual. No one's born gay. How, how they not? Huh? How they not born the gay? They had to have seen something. I'm telling you, or they were touched. So everybody that's done been had a finger stuck in their ass, they gay. Oh, y'all not gonna like this next statement. I'm getting ready to say all you hoes that done that Uncle Ray done stuck his finger so deep down in your pussy, bitch, that you don't know nothing but fingernails in your pussy, bitch. You and you and you fuck no niggas, bitch, that the existing niggas walking, and you ain't gay. How you don't understand it? How you don't see it? Man, y'all bitches is crazy. Like I said earlier in the conversation, y'all be protecting, y'all be pe protecting Ray the pedophile, bitch. But bitch, you, you, but you wanna, you wanna crucify Sweet Sean. You wanna crucify Sweet Sean, cause he's sweet. Uh oh, don't bring that gay stuff in here. Man, you motherfuckers is backwards. When did black people go so backwards? When did black people go backwards? Like they do. When? How you get so fucked up? That you don't want to understand shit. You don't want to understand nothing. And don't tell me shit about God that you believe in. You don't believe in no motherfucking God. Because if you did, bitch, the half of the shit you hold would do. Don't come talking to me about that. 
I say this shit every time I talk about it. Bitch, if you're not following the Mosaic law, don't you don't you can't get the, you can't get the motherfucking Leviticus skipping over Deuteronomy and Exodus and all that. You can't get you can't do that. I don't t- don't say shit to me about Leviticus. Don't say a goddamn thing to me about Leviticus. When you ain't adhering to the law that was written on the big rock from Mount Sinai that God wrote with his finger, his big finger, on the rock. I don't want to hear shit that you, I don't want to hear nothing you motherfucking hoes got to say to me about no Levitical law and homosexuality and all of that shit when you hoes lying and stealing and, and, and motherfucking coveting and doing all the shit that you, you raggedy bitches do. I don't want to hear about that. Miss me, motherfucker. Adultery. And I miss me. Mm-mm. You can't, don't cherry pick on me. Because I stick my fingers in, in, in the air and tell you to suck my ass, bitch, until there ain't no skin on the motherfucker. I want to hear And then half of you bitches that be saying it, Big Mama told you that. You ain't read, bitch, you ain't read a school book, let alone the fucking Bible. You ain't read the school book, bitch. Let alone the Bible. Hope, you ain't here. I want to tell you, thank you for helping that helping that boy out. Girl, this lash about to come out here. I want to tell you, thank you for helping that boy out, Hope. Open your other friend. Thank you. And the Gay Magazine. And Devin. And Devin. I want to say thank you for doing that, Hope. Listen, you could have got an all kind of situation because you know when you start getting over to the colorful, the hood ass colorful business, they be want to go, they want to go to violence and shooting and carrying on. They want to do that, but they be forgetting that bitch. We shoot fucking too, cause I shoot, bitch. Trust, boom. That's why I be worrying about none of y'all. Be talking about y'all know my address, y'all know where I stay. Well, bitch, you, you, if you ready for your first name to be Swiss and your last name to be Cheese, bitch, just come right on. But hope, thank you for going over. Thank you for getting over in there. Oh, you welcome, Dave. Uh, David. I love you. You hope. Thank you for getting over there into that business and helping that boy. You possibly done saved that boy's life. You possibly has saved that boy's life. You done saved that boy's life. And we need, as as homosexuals, transsexuals, gays, bi's, and all that other umbrella shit that we fall up under, we need to be more vigilant and we need to be more, more hands-on and we need to be more uh, 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 aggressive like Hope was yesterday. We need to be more of that and then we'll be, uh, it, it'll save a lot, of these, uh, a lot of these colored children. We need to be more family with our, with our gay folk. Now listen, it, all gay folk ain't kin folks. It's, it's a lot of queens I don't fuck with and that don't fuck with me and I don't give a damn about you but bitch if you was over there getting abused by, by your parents or your family or whatever I feel for you but bitch I, that don't mean listen we all are just cause we sisters don't mean we sisters but bitch I don't even want to see that that shit just devastated me dog like I was looking at that shit and I'm so glad, Hope, that you got over there. You was real diligent about it. You got over there. You got over there. And listen, that's when you need to be over in a bitch business. That's when you need to get over in a bitch business like that. Hope did. Well, just when she posted, got over in them people business just like that. Got right over in it. That's my business because that's them, that child some kin to me. We spiritually connected. We spiritually connected. And to you motherfucking colors that was out there talking about something, I don't believe that it was wrong. You know, everybody got, they, they, they let people parent their kids. That ain't parenting, bitch. That's abuse. That's abuse. That is abuse that them people did to that fucking boy. You niggas, you new age niggas is fucking crazy. Homosexuality was is a white man's thing. It's a European thing. When did two dicks just be European? When did attraction just be, be just be European? That was placed on us when we were brought here. There are no Africans that were gay. Well, what about the peoples in Africa that ain't never been introduced to the motherfucking slave? That's over there fucking and loving one another. 
I used to grow up thinking that I'm going to bring hope on. Let me plug my phone up over here. I used to grow up thinking that it wasn't no Jamaicans. I'm from Miami. And the way they used to try to say that Jamaicans, it was no Jamaicans. Hey, old Jamaicans ain't with none of that. Oh, them Jamaicans ain't with none of that. They ain't. Jamaicans don't fuck around with y'all face. The first thing that bust my pussy open was a Jamaican. And he spoke patois to me while his dick was so deep in me. And he was stroking mine. And I love fucking goddamn patois ever since. The first thing that ever bust that bust my that bust my homosexual cherry was a Jamaican. And the next thing that turned me over into a freak was a Puerto Rican. Suck my dick so good I wanted to take the bitch off, give it to him, and give it get him to give it back to me. God damn it. Give me back my dick. He the reason why I won't have a sex change today. That motherfucking Puerto Rican. Licked and sucked and ate me, did all kind of shit to me. I was like, dear God in heaven, you couldn't have blessed me with more. With, with, you couldn't have blessed me with with, with 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 more of a blessing than giving me a cock. Eat it, babe. Eat it. Bitch, that Puerto Rican made me want to learn Spanish. Cause I didn't know what he was saying. I didn't know how I was supposed to fucking say it. God damn. And in my in my in that was my thing. In my transition, I was I real because every trans every trans person think about having a sex change. Every one of us. Every single one of us do. But let me tell you, let me here to tell you, God sent that Puerto Rican boy to me that night. God sent him to me. Then that boy got on me and rolled me and sucked me and made me feel a feeling I had never felt before. And I told God, as long as he, long as you keep me with that, you send somebody my way to do like that, I'm still a woman. That motherfucking Puerto Rican spit it, whoosh, spit in his motherfucking hand and wiped that shit in the cracks of his ass and rolled me. I said, praise be. Honda, be, 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 I shot Praises. I don't ever want to have no sex change. That Puerto Rican fucked me up. But that Jamaican was hitting me from the back. And then laid me on my back and dug that dick in me and was like, oh, baby, I, whatever y'all say in Patois. Bumba. I was like, all of that, man. Get it? Ugh. Ugh. Where you at, Hope? Let me bring you on here, girl, so we can chop it. Ah! Bitch, my first, my first love was a Jamaica, and all the years they was telling me that Jamaicans ain't gay. Shit, that Jamaican was fucking me. I had a high top fade. <laughs> Bitch, you are silly. Now, you from Miami too? You know you done heard the same thing. I done oh. heard all of the same thing. Oh, all Jamaica, of them. Them Jamaicans, though, they don't play with. They don't fuck gay. They, you know, you bet y'all don't play in the. I used to go into Jamaica. I had a couple, so I know it's true. <laughs> Jamaican club and leave out of that bitch with some Jamaican, knocking me down. I had a Jamaican, two Jamaicans run a train on me, honey. One was hitting me from the back, the other was sucking the meats. I said, dear God, thank you for, thank you for, thank you, Lord, for patois. See, that's too much dick for me. <laughs> two of them at one time, and yes. you know they don't come small. I ain't never met a small Jamaican ever. I, his name was Peter. Ah! <laughs> I said, Peter, what you think you're going to do with that? You might well suck me. Oh, Jesus. What I done got myself into, though. But, Hope, listen, let's talk about this this situation. What happened? Like, okay, I said you were very outraged about it, but let me tell you about your outrage the other day. You was outraged, and you... My mama taught me this, and I tell my kids the same thing. Bitch, when you see me arguing and fussing and all that stuff, you see me carrying on like that, you know, you might have a chance. But when I'm quiet, it's danger. Right. You, you wasn't fussing. You weren't, you weren't screaming and hollering. You weren't doing none of that. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You just was like, the time ain't, the, like, the, the, talking about it ain't doing nothing. I got to be about it. Right. You posted up those people's address and all kind of shit, honey. 
Because it needed to be done. Like, at the end of the day, like, when I saw that video and I know it resonated because the comments that I was seeing was like, this happened to me or I remember when this happened to me or my mom and them used to do stuff like this it to me. It got to stop somewhere. It, it got to stop. It got to stop. And I, I remember when I went through stuff like that with my own mama or, like, when I finally came out to my my mother and my grandmother as gay and my grandmother, the first thing out of my grandmother's mouth was well don't be in here touching that baby referring to my little brother as if me admitting that i was gay just made me a pedophile somehow and that's the type of fear mongering that they do with these babies where it's like oh the second that you say that you're gay now you're this it you're this thing you don't deserve to be treated like a human being and it's that bullshit you know what i'm saying and don't get me wrong my mother did correct my grandmother immediately she shut that shit all the way down but listen you say your grandmama but mind you we you know how in in our world this big mama and right so, but right. my whole thing is big mama done taught that to your mama big mama mama taught that to her usually people have such a a, 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 a a homophobia and a transphobia because they have been taught these things by people who have who who never really experienced or have or 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 or, or, or not not have no experience or, or who have ran into one that they didn't like and then it's right just, it, it'd be like that it'd be like that but like i felt like in this particular instance all of the, the videos, if they weren't leading somewhere, if we weren't going to get people to mobilize, if we weren't going to get him out of that house, then what's the point? All of these people hopping on social media talking about what they would do, how they would be so happy to adopt. Okay, so let's do this. So let Okay, so here's the address. So, okay, so here's the number to DC. Like, and that was my, my biggest thing is I'm not into punk ass activism. Right. So don't, don't critique my shit if you're not going to help me make my shit better or if you're not going to do your own shit that I can support. And so the one thing about me when it came down to this was I was quiet because I was like, I'm not going to let y'all make me mad. We finna mobilize. We finna organize. So if the way we got to organize is by getting Keisha involved. If the way that we got to organize is by getting Deepax involved and then turning around and being able to undo to make sure that he's in a safe environment, then let's do that. But I'm not going to argue back and forth with y'all bitches about whether or not this video was right or wrong because we already know it's wrong. So if you're not going to help me to get him out of this situation, move out of my way. I'm not going to argue with you today about that. I'm not going to argue with you until he's out of that house. And so once he got out, because for those of y'all who don't know yet, who haven't seen the updates yet, he is out of the home. We got him out of the home. Myself and Darren Bar uh, Devin Barrington Ward who is out there in Atlanta. He's running for District 9. And he's somebody that wanted to make sure that he wasn't just running for the district and trying to look good, but he wanted to be there. He, he lives five minutes around the corner from them. He went and talked to the mother. We were on the phone. The mom was very hesitant, had to go back a second time. The mom was still he hesitant and ended up telling us about the fact that she's been through trauma. She's been through, you know, the child care system and all of this other stuff. And so it's, one, it's, it's those things where it's like, Y'all can sit online from your couch and be tweeting and talking shit, but if you're not going to get out there and do it and, and run the risk of putting your life at, at, at risk, because you don't know who would have came outside. You don't know who the next door neighbors are. You don't know how they feel about queer people or gay people or whatever the case may be. Well, obviously and, we see. Right. Obviously we see how they feel. But and he, he's so what, was, what hurt me was they shaved that boy head all the way back like that to make him look and then carve gay in his head you know, uh, cut gay in his head, and that look that that whole go. Let me tell you something about that whole. That whole gonna be fearless. Oh yeah, that whole gonna be fearless. That whole is gonna battle. She's gonna be a battler. She's she gonna, gonna windmill. She gonna windmill for dear life. I live for her. You know, and my and my thing is, when I'm looking at her, or him, excuse me, when I'm looking at him, get out there, and he was with those girls, and the girl, the girls had him in. They yeah. took him back home to show them that they had already put his out. They had already did those things to him. So the girls that was in the video, I guess they went and told his mom what was going on. And then that's how they... No, that was his sister. Oh, those were his siblings. Those were all his siblings. So he has 
So essentially, um, his cousin and his sister were a part of the main, the first video, but they were also a part of the video that took place afterwards. So there were three, there were about three different videos. The initial abuse video, the video that was taken right after the abuse, and then the video that happened the night of the abuse that the brother and the sister tried to get him to film in order to clear their name because stuff had started to circulate on social media. So essentially what happened was his sister and his cousin said that they were all having fun they were just kind of like you know filling a beats doing whatever they were doing and the older brother who was seen in the video actually committing the the violence wasn't there however the older brother walks in when you know tyler was saying some gay shit and that is the video that we saw that went viral after that video was over uh, some neighborhood girls, the cousin and the sister decided that they thought it was going to be funny to put Tyler on the internet once again with this bad haircut, you know, showcasing it or whatever. And like Maddie said, Tyler is going to be that bitch because Tyler's not going to have no fear for these people. Tyler got on that camera and was like, yeah, so what? Oh, it yeah. is what it is. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's me. It's me. But here's, here's, here's where you got to realize that, that and hope, I'm just going to say it, you know I don't give a fuck. Here's where you got to realize where black people oh, yeah. feel like that they have um, the audacity to be abusing a fag hmm. on motherfucking live camera and putting it online like they, there was not going to be any repercussions. There were no consequences because there haven't been. But that, yeah. that's the thing. That's the thing, man. There hasn't been any consequences. Right. Because up until now, it's been safe. It's been safe to record yourself beating up a trans girl on the train. It's been safe to record yourself beating up a gay boy in class. It's been safe to record yourself slapping a lesbian girl because she told you she was gay. It's been okay. It's been safe. But not no more. Not no more. And we made an example out of this family. So the next time y'all decide that y'all want to be in class picking on the gay boy and you think you're going to get away with it, I'm going to be on your ass. So you better pray it don't go viral. The next time you, you, you decide you want to beat up a trans girl on the train, you better hope out it don't go viral because I'm going to be on your ass. I'm going to find your address too. And that's the thing. They need to know that we not playing this game no more. So y'all are not about to, you're not about to get your kicks off Route 66 no more by picking a fag out of the crowd or picking a trans girl out of the crowd or picking a lesbian out of the crowd and be like, oh, I'm going to beat them up today. Ayana, same thing, how they film that. They film them 20, 20, 30 guys beating her in the store. For what reason? For what reason? All of this over a fender bender? All of that over a fender bender because she she scratched somebody's car? Come on, she's a she's a kid, and the shit that pisses me off about it, though, Maddie, is that it be kid. It don't even be grown ass adults no more. Y'all ain't y'all not even attacking adult people. Y'all are attacking children. Y'all are going after these kids and putting them on social media, waiting to go viral, go viral, because you think that the world the world is changing. People not with that shit no more. People are not with that shit no more. And so for all of the people that were so pressed and so mad about, oh, well, hope you put the address online. Them people, that's the black. Okay, but we was okay when we put the address of that white cop that did that shit to that boy in that neighborhood. We was okay when his address was online, right? We was okay with that. We be, we, we so okay when it comes down to protecting black masculinity and blackness as a whole. But when that blackness features some gay shit, that's when we got to think about the eyes and, and, and crossing the T's and all yeah. of this other stuff. This, this, this is when the conjunctions kick in. Right. But, but uh, you know, but, but I don't, I, listen, I, I hear more but when it comes down to us. Right. Than anything. And, and just like I was saying earlier, when shit jump off in our community, we the first bitches to jump on the front line of scrimmage yeah. Be because we understand injustice, inequality. We understand we understand it because this is something that we go through. And that's, that brother and that raggedy ass bitch who was doing that shit to him be the main ones that be the, be the, be the profiles from the police and all this stuff. And, and imagine if that bitch head got bashed. Uh, 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 we would about, be expected. Yes. We would be expected to go protest. Right now, today, if that little boy right now, today, got wrongfully beat up, killed, harmed, even though people know this story about Tyler, 
right now today, even though people saw the way he treated that little boy, we would all be expected to put that shit to the side because he's a black man. Yeah. And it is unfair. It is, it is unfair because here's the thing. I think with a lot of times in our community as black, if I, and I'm not down to black because bitch, I'm, I'm black and I'm Period. proud. Period. I'm black and I'm proud, bitch. I'll bust a motherfucking, bust a whole window about me being black. Period. I'm black and I'm proud. However, I'm black, I'm proud, yet I'm also disappointed with my black folks. Because the thing about it is, you felt that you had <laughs> the, the, right. Right, the, the right. right to do this shit to this gay boy. Be, not just because he's your family, but because he's gay. Just cause all that shit went out the window. Your 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 being a relative of his is is gay. Yeah, we don't play that around here. What we gonna do around here? You y'all really was doing this stuff as if you were you were you were making an example of not a, this. What y'all need to be doing to them gays? Because yeah. Ain't nobody in my family finna be no fag. But this is the this is the conversation. This is what they wanted Dwayne Wade to do to Zaya. Yeah. Right. This is what they want. Yeah. This is what they Here's wanted. The and you know what's so sad? What's sad is that they would understand that, understand him doing that. They can't understand him. They can't Loving. understand his unconditional love for his child. Mm -hmm. They can't grab they, they will they will understand. If he told him, if he told her out there in the streets, of they would understand. They would be, yeah, you know, because y'all yeah, get it. Of course, is. of course, because that's what we've normalized in this community. We've normalized the fact that LGBT children are no longer worthy of protection. They're no longer worthy of love and care, and that I am going to support you as long as you are living the life that I say. And I approve of. But beyond that, bitch, you on your own. They've proven time. My thing is, in the Black community, we've proven time and time and time again how conditional the love of Black parenting is. And especially when it comes down to being gay in this community. Over, and my thing is, I know that there are some people that are on the fence about it because you're going to say, well, Hope, it's not just a black thing. White people do it too. But it it does not happen but in Hope, the same... Listen, we don't, and this, this is no shade when I say this. We ain't white. Oh. At all. And so, we ain't white. And that don't mean that that that, that their oppression and all that stuff that go on with them is, you know, in, in, the, in the... Bitch, we black. Hmm. We know what uh, we know from our black experience. From uh, these are our black stories. Hmm. And bitch, let's even take it one, two, three steps further. We don't even got a brown line on the fucking the the fucking uh, uh, pride flag, the gay flag. We don't have a brown line on there. We don't got a dark brown one. We don't got a black one. We don't got a light brown one on that bitch. So when people say, "Oh, but see y'all over there in that community," uh, what the fuck does that mean? Even when we step over there in that community, we see, we black in that community. And we're black thing, in there too. It's performative on both sides. Like I tell people, and, and you have this conversation often on your platform, Maddie. Don't think that when these people are passing these laws and all of this stuff is getting written off and these white people are celebrating. You know why these white gays are celebrating? Because they know that they're going to benefit from it. We're not going to benefit from that shit as, as black queer people. We don't benefit from that stuff. It's cute. It's nice to repost and say, ooh, they done did something. But we don't benefit from it. And then we turn around and in the black community, we might benefit from the things that happen for black people. But y'all say that we don't deserve it because we're queer. And it, it doesn't make sense. Like, to me, it's like y'all want us to be there for everybody except ourselves. Y'all want us to respect everybody, but y'all don't want to give us respect for being who we are. Y'all want people to tell the truth, but then people tell the truth, and y'all kill them, burn them, murk, all of the things, and it just doesn't make sense. So at this point, it's like, what do y'all want people to do? Y'all see stories like this one. And this weekend, we're all gung-ho for the radio show. Oh, protect black gay kids. That's wrong. That's fucked up. But on Monday morning, it's going to be a trans girl that exposes one of your faves. And now it's, see, that's my dumb fucking faggot. Da, 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 da. So it's like, what do y'all really want? What, what do y'all really want as it pertains to equality and equity?
Because as you sit here and as y'all watch this, and I know that this isn't Madison's ministry, but, it, but she brought me on here because it's mine. That's right. And so it's one of those things where it's like, what do y'all really want? Because as y'all sit here and y'all listen and y'all say speaking, yes, Hope, and yes, Maddie, I feel what y'all are saying. We're two black women. Regardless of how we came into that womanhood, we're two black women, period. And so when we're talking about the issues that face black people, they, we're talking about ourselves, too. We're not talking about them as adjacent boxes. We're talking about them as, as far as how they affect us, too. And so when shit happens, you can't only go to bat because, oh, I fuck with Maddie, so I'm going to fuck with this particular trans issue because Maddie said something. Oh, I fuck with Hope, so I'm going to fuck with this particular trans issue because Hope said something. You got to fuck with it all the time because it's the right thing to do. And a lot of y'all don't know how to stand on that principle. Y'all fuck with shit based off of who y'all like and who y'all are here for and who gives you life. But you got to fuck with it just because it's the right thing to do, period. King Charles underscore the great one says, see, this is where I disagree. You are not a woman. Oh, that's okay. I don't need your validation. I wasn't asking for it. Next. Um, but like at the end of the day, it's one of those things where it's just like, as, as Black people, we got to realize that as the most marginalized people, if we don't look out for each other, who else going to do it? And if we too busy trying to separate this section, oh, the light skins over here, the dark skins over here, the brown skins over here, the African descendants of whoever are over here, the gay black ones is over here. Like, we can't, like, how the fuck we going to do all that shit and we so divided? Because at the end of the day, regardless of how you feel about it, when them white people want to do some racist fucked up shit, they don't give a fuck if you gay, trans, or are you white? Hope, let me tell you this, right? You know, you you be on my shows and stuff like that, and you know, I I'd give it to it raw. I say there's two things when we when we realize when we as a community of LBGT and all that other shit, mm -hmm. when we realize that there are only two things that is recognized this head people, mm. you is either a faggot mm. or a dyke. Ain't none in between. Ain't no trans. Ain't no non-binary. Ain't no gender non-conforming. Ain't no, ain't no this. Ain't no top. Ain't no bottom. Ain't no film. Ain't no this. You are a faggot or a dyke. That is it. That is all. Those are the only two areas that you fall under. That's it. And when you really, really understand that that's what it is, this is this is where the separatism comes in with us. That's it. It's just, we start separating because it's just like, oh, well, they're not talking to me because you know, you know, I'm masked. So, so you know, they ain't really, they really ain't got nothing to do with me because I'm masked. They talk to the the ones that act like that, or no, well, she clocky. So you know, they talking to the ones that don't look. You know how you get the ones that I oh, well, see. I ain't talking about you because you look real. I'm talking to the ones that no bitch. Like I said, hope. Like I said, I was also a victim of that, and I will never do it again. I was a victim of it because I was a participant in it. I felt safe. I don't need to go into the whole logistics of it. You right. and I, these private talks about it. Right. Felt safe because I felt like they're not talking about me. They're talking about you. They're talking about them. Or they rub you on the hand or the arm and say, no, sis, I'm not talking about you. You're my sister. I'm talking about no bitch. Because the moment that you cross the, that you cross them or, or y'all on bad terms or whatever, you are you are definitely on the end of that smoking gun. Which, which lets me be let's which let it be known that you have always felt like that. Always. Always. You always, always talking about me. When you scream, Fargot! And I was behind you. Oh, I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about them. I, I am them. I and am them. Realize that there are only two things that they see, and that is dyke hmm. and faggot. Hmm. That is it. That is all. That's it. That's all. And you, when you when you realize that you fall under either one of those categories, 
You got to govern yourself. I'm really starting to govern myself a little bit better. I still got more more to do because you get in those spaces and you love them. Like, I love her. I love him. I love, you got to check them. Hey, 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 shouty. Hey, don't be over there laughing at punks and queens and shit or, or poking fun because, bitch, I could be that group of punks and queens and this and the other two. That's me. That is me. Don't do that. I just, I, I hate the idea. If y'all notice, you can have the most hope tip of the hope tip, the most I'm black, black Sheba fuck white people ass Negroes, right? In the world. The only time that they will align with some white people is to bash on gay Oh, I almost fell out. Oh! The, the, I mean, the, I, they will do that shit so fast, you will forget all of the rest of that African diaspora shit that they're talking about. You will forget. Because that is the, that's the one time where they will put all of that shit away to come together with some white people is to be like, fuck them faggots. Ooh! <laughs> it's like crap. You want, like, I mean, I, I, I hate to say it, but for all of y'all, you know, for all of y'all white folks that sit in and, and just watch, you want to get a hope tip to agree with you, say some shit about gay people. Oh, bitch, the whole conversation gonna flip. They could be calling you a cracker. They could be saying everything about your white heritage, calling you a colonizer. But baby, the second you mention something about not liking queens, they are your best friend. Yeah, yeah. the moment you do it. The moment, the moment that it happens, it bit if, if and if you think we're lying, go do it. Go do it. Go do it. Put it to the I test. I promise you, go get on any hotel live right now. On any, and they could be talking about everything under the sun from the colonization to white supremacy to how you ain't shit and you need to be better and give reparations, bitch. Get in them comments and let them catch you talking about how the the the, the, the feminization of the black man. Oh, bitch, they're gonna be your best friend. Oh, yeah. You yeah. gonna get brought into the line? Yeah. Oh, listen, listen, <laughs> listen, hold on. Let's, let's, let's go since we're going there. Ha! <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> I asked the question the other day. Okay. I say, how can a per how can a trans person who lives their life open you saw it? I who saw lives it. their life as openly trans, who at who talks about she's openly trans, who has told you to suck my dick to the skin come off the motherfucker. How are you study telling me to stop tricking men? No bitch, he need to stop tricking you. You you're the one that's being tricked here, mamas. But the, but, but that's the, the thing about it, though, Maddie, though, and, and the reason why some cis women get on my nerves is because you're not being tricked. It's just easier for you to come at me than it is for you to call him on his bullshit. And that's the thing. And, and my thing, you know you're going to have more people backing you, calling me a tranny, than you're going to have more people that are going to back you Telling him that Listen, that's what he likes. Here's here's the shit that that, that that irks my pussy. You don't believe none of niggas say. Hmm. And all nothing. Of, all of a sudden, you believe this. Nothing. Okay, and come on, come on. Let's really hit it hard. Let's let's take the sledgehammer out. According to all y'all, we look like men. So how he was fooled? You can always tell. Always could tell. I can always tell. I know a real woman when I see a real woman. Look at the Adam's apple. Look at the tone. I mean, hope you can't fool nobody. Oh, girl, you ain't fooling nobody. Madison, you look like a man, girl. Just like a man. But the moment that he say, I ain't know. Oh, yeah. That's what they do. <laughs> that's what they do. <laughs> Oh, I done seen some bitches go bananas about that shit. I done seen sir, and you know they think by saying sir and mister and he to you that that you know takes away your 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 femininity. It takes away you know that you you know you live in. I live in all of that. You can he sir him do all that all stuff. Of that. 
but it don't it don't never stop men from loving me and the same men that loving you can love us too and they it, do it's just, it, it, yes and they do girl they were so on the side of that man who went in there and killed that white that white bitch they look like nobody's fucking bitch that Virginia Tech boy, that white bitch don't look like nobody's bitch with no wig on, no fucking goddamn earrings, no lip, no lip gloss. That he know what the fuck that white motherfucking nigga was. But they was right there. He tricked him. How? He supposed to be. He How? Him. I'm sitting there looking at the picture like, wait a minute. How did you not know? And my and let, and let me be very clear for the folks that are, are in the same realm as I'm in. We're having a colloquial conversation. Do not bring your activism into this conversation. We are Black women having a Black conversation around what it really is. And when we speak in our in, in our native language, when we when we behind closed doors, we really we know what it gives. And you know when some of the girls gives and when some of the girls don't. And what we're trying to show people in the comments is that if the if the if the excuse for why y'all are justifying these men killing us is that we are tricking them, then shouldn't we be passable to do that? Right, because according to you, you told us that we look like men in the face. We look like men. We built like men. We, be, we, the, we, 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 we hold dudes out here. And so I'm like, well, how, did he, how was he tricked? How? How? Because according, because my thing is, when you got on this page and you was reading this story, you knew. So why did you give him a pass? Because when the picture came up on your feed, you knew. So why are you giving him a pass? When I saw that mother, and I ain't seen no feminine picture of that white man yet. Yeah, he looks that I well I'm not I'm not even sure how they identify, but they look like a cross dresser to me. But it, a CD, yeah. But here's yes. the, here's the thing, Hope. I'm sitting there like, and then did you see the video footage surface where three niggas was going in there? Yeah, they, they, they was always getting their dicks up by that fucking white bitch. Right. That bitch was giving them that real Becky. <laughs> and they were enjoying it. And then it was just one day that it was like, okay, bitch, we finna take this whole out. Either she was paying them or niggas do some nigga shit, doing some nigga shit, what they do to us. But that's, but the thing about it though, is when you don't have that many, and that's, that's another thing I don't understand. How are y'all justifying the killing after y'all have seen that there have been multiple accounts that this person has been with them? After a while, you mean to tell me he done did all of this and he ain't never seen so, that so, there was a difference? So, so, let me tell you something. Every real nigga I know eat pussy. Every real nigga I know Every eat pussy. single I ain't one met a real nigga yet that them. don't eat pussy. Okay? Bitch, you been tell me I'm going to be on 16 dates with you, bitch, and you ain't finna want to stick your fingers, toes, elbows, and tongue in my pussy. That's the first thing they, first of all, as a, as a woman, that's the first thing they reach for. Even when they know you trans, that's the first thing that they do. They want to put their hands between your legs. So you mean yeah. to tell me all of these men are being tricked? As women in general, ladies. And I know oh, that most of y'all on here. Oh, Curly. Oh, I know. Curly, you said you're virtual bra. Yes, I know. I know. I know. I watch you. Listen, I ain't even want to bring this up. But I seen somebody come on there and disrespect her by trying to call her a man. I, don't, I never, I'm not even saying them people name. I just, cause I don't, I ain't got, I ain't trying to get into that. Ooh, they were on Dr. Phil. That's all I'm going to say. Oh. And, you know, the way that that person banters and panders to transphobia and homophobia and all the, the way that they do that, I just like, wow. While having two children. Two. Prominent children in the community. Wow. Doesn't wow. make sense to me. But wow. it's the it is the fact that the, the shit that bothers me with that too is that we see that violence play out on social media all the time. We see that person get on live and go live for hours. 
talking about everything under the sun. We see this little boy get beat on live. And then when we repost it to bring awareness, exactly. it goes against community guidelines. How? Instagram? How? Facebook? Make it make sense. That's another thing that I, I don't... The algorithm is fucked up, but the algorithm is fucked up too, based off of the, the the shit that we sit back and indulge. People are not people ain't reporting it when it's happening because it's entertaining. But people want to report it when you come out as an al or when you come out as an activist or as somebody who just wants to shed light on it, saying that this is wrong. That's when y'all report it. But y'all ain't reporting it when it's happening. Yeah. Yeah. But when I repost it and I say, this is messed up, we should not be doing this. Now you want to report it. Because why should I be supporting a 12 year old being gay? I'm supporting a 12 year old not being abused. I don't care. My thing is, I, to be perfectly honest with y'all, I wouldn't have cared why Tyler was getting abused like that. He could have had anything written in the side of his head. I don't indulge, I don't encourage anybody to be getting beat, especially on, on, on live like that. On like, live. No. On live like that, absolutely not. But the only difference is, had it been for any other reason, this would have been on news. All of the black celebrities would have covered it. The shade room would have had it posted in 2.5 seconds. But because it was about him being gay. Hey, that shit don't matter. And y'all think we don't see it. You know, I, I see King Charles, and I'm not, I'm not mad. I, I just want to let's, let, okay, hope. Let's just let's let's just have this conversation. Okay. When people say, I'm, I'm tired of arguing with them and being mad at them. You said about you don't need anyone else's validation. You good, and I'm glad that you've gotten to that place because I've gotten to that place too. I've gotten to that place like I don't need. It. Um, I will say this, and maybe you can help me break this down a little bit more because you, you're way more articulate in that situation than me. Um, a woman is a social construct. And, and, when, and, and when we really, uh, I don't identify as female. I'm not female. I know that I'm not female. I know that I don't have ovaries, a uterus. I know that Thanks. I can, cannot pass a baby through a vaginal channel because I don't have that. However, Thanks. I do fall under the woman umbrella because I am a trans woman. I'm a black trans woman. So I do, but I know that I'm not female. Right. Woman is basically, when we say woman, when it comes into that for us, it's, it's, it's a social construct. Am I right? Am I saying it right? It is. No, it is based. My thing is when we're talking about anatomy, when we're talking about how you have to be seen by a doctor, right? Male and female are the terms that are going to genetically get you through the door. That is who you have to see in order to remain healthy, right? And now there are some trans women that are not on this live to defend themselves. Maddie and I are not them that identify themselves as female and woman. We are not those women. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not that. And so not and that. I respect those. I respect everyone's identity. You know, I do. I, but I know that I am not. And, and here's the thing, Hope, for me, for me, I enjoy, you know, telling people that I'm a trans woman. I enjoy the I enjoy the trans and the hype in between. I enjoy that because I'm I'm really letting it be known that I understand that I'm not female. I know that I was gen I was I know that my genetics, my genetic makeup is not female and it will never be female. However, uh, 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 under a I'm social a woman construct, all I'm, day. Yeah. I'm a woman all day and tomorrow and the thing about it, the thing that the thing that really kills me is that people like King Charles who look at, okay, y'all, on my platform, I wouldn't pay Charles no attention because people like that, they go away when you start to not pay him no attention. The only reason that he's still here is because y'all commenting back and forth for him. But if y'all stop talking to him, he get bored and he leave. But um, since he's still here, what I want to say is even you, King Charles, wouldn't walk up and be like, hey, fellas. And it's because we're women. Right now, what you know about our anatomy is based on what and when we decide to tell you. Everything else, when we walk around socially, if if Maddie and I walked into the J.C. Penney's right now, and we were looking for clothes, you wouldn't walk either one of us over to the men's jacket section and be like, "Have at it." 
And that is what we're talking about when we say social constructs, when we're talking yes. about social behavior, the way that you treat people based off of how they are socially coming up or how they appear right in the world. Mm -hmm. Socially, we are women. We are yes. types of women. Just yes. like you have fat women and skinny women and black women are Armenian women. Trans women are a part of the categories that women can fall in. Same as trans men. Yes. Yes. And so I think that that's what I think. I think we um, when we have these conversations in, in, in other places, people, there are a lot of people who um, who feel like that our existence is some type of erasure erasure for, you know, for females. And I'm always there like, I'm not, I'm not, I can't never erase a woman. Never. I can never erase a female because I'm not that. But I do exist under that umbrella. Like, you know, I'm a trans woman. You know, that's just, that's what it is. And so therefore, you know, I used to, the older that I'm getting in that situation, I don't let it bother me. I don't let it, I don't get angry about it anymore, you know. And a lot of times, Hope, we, we get angry about it and we, we meet it with such um, aggression because, you know, we get tired of having that same conversation. But sometimes we just need to have that conversation. Wait a minute. Hold up. Pause, Maddie, because this is the part that does irk my motherfucking soul. Did King Charles just say he gay? Oh. This is a whole nother conversation that we... Let's have it. Stay tuned. This is that shit, okay? And the thing that by and, and what I want a lot, yeah, because a lot of y'all cis folks under there like, huh? What you mean? Yeah, because it happens. Just because we are a part of the same community does not mean that they see it for us. And this is a prime example, and I'm happy that it's happening live because I had to tell my mama this one time. A lot of these queer folks, and especially, and I hate to say it, gay black men, because I don't convene with a bunch of white guys, just my experience, right? A lot of these gay black men feel the same way that some of you cisgender heterosexual people feel. And the sad part about it and what makes it fucked up is that you would assume that if nobody else understood that they get it, but they don't. Which goes to show you that gender and sexuality are two completely different things and they have two completely different conversations that need to happen around them. Because mm -hmm. when you have a gay black man avidly in these comments trying to dismantle the womanhood of two women that are in this community, one of them whom just yesterday finished getting the gay boy out of a horrible situation, that could have been you, King Charles. That could have been you in that house that I just helped to get out of that situation. And you're sitting here avidly trying to dismantle the womanhood of two women that are on live to discuss the community as a whole and how to be better. And instead of you taking this time to celebrate us and celebrate the things that we do with our platform, you're trying to use this little moment of fame to chase clout and talk about how we're men. This is what y'all do. And then y'all sit back and ask why some trans girls have issues with the boys and the butch queens. Because out of all of the things that you could have done with what we were doing on this live, you choose to dismantle our womanhood for the sake of likes, clicks, views, and for other people that are low-key on some fuck shit with you to agree with you. Make it make sense, homie. Make it make sense. And yet and still, the girls are still gonna march for you. Really? Yet and still, if you go out to a gay pride parade tomorrow and get your ass beat, I'm still gonna vouch for you. Well, the reason why we have pride and parades and these celebrations is, is because of two. Marsha P. And Sylvia, Sylvia Rivera. Because of two trans women of color. Of color. <laughs> Marsha P. And Sylvia Rivera. 
So during Pride Month, while y'all are over here sucking and fucking and using this as an excuse to run off to Atlanta and New York and D.C. and all of the things to ignore the girls and act like we're just so thirsty for y'all, remember that the reason that you can have pride is because of women like Marsha and Sylvia and Stormy. Remember that the reason why some of y'all are upset that you're not seeing gay men on TV that look a certain way, the reason that y'all can be on TV is because women like myself, like Laverne, like Maddie and Janet and Amaya and all of us were fearless and got on there first and allowed them to disrag us first. Y'all want to talk so much about how there's no representation, but the problem is if we don't kick the door down, y'all are perfectly fine pretending to be straight and fucking on people's husbands in the backgrounds and behind the dumpsters of Krispy Kremes. Y'all are perfectly fine with that, some of you. So don't ever disrespect the trans women that are bold enough to live in the truth that we are. Don't, don't ever. Especially when half of y'all are complacent and trying to pretend like you're more masculine than you are for the sake of being accepted by people who still call you a faggot behind your back. Make it make sense, boys. Make it make sense, boys. If we done had some combos today. Yeah. Cause that that worked my I was oh I was okay when I thought he was just an old regular ignorant, you know, black cis man, but wait a minute, you a whole queen. But can we can we can we say this hope right here? Is that there's something that's been um that's been taught to us, you know, growing up, and this is why this is why when we have uh conversations like um I find myself fussing, well, not no more. I've, I've calmed myself because I was like, girl, just calm down, Master. I found myself saying uh, gay men, uh, men that, that like trans women are usually not gay identified. These men are not going to identify as gay men. Like um, when, when I see some cis women saying, well, y'all need to deal with me, gay men. Like, but gay men they don't, don't want us. They don't want us, sister. They don't want us. They At don't. All. <laughs> they don't want us gay men don't want us girl straight men do we're not hunting them down usually when the two when, when, when the men are in the gym they're in the gym for other men They're not there looking for us. Men go where women are to find women, regardless of what kind of woman you are. So stop letting these boys make it. Stop letting these boys lie to y'all and act like we're not a hot commodity when every single year when they do the, when they do the, 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 the evaluation of the top porn sites. Oh, oh. Should I say it? Should I say it? Go ahead, Every year when they do the top evaluation of the top search porn engines, you know what the number one is and has been for about the last three? Trans porn, female, big dick tranny porn. That's oh, what that We not watching it. Oh. The girls aren't watching ourselves. Oh, 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 oh. There are some oh. cis women that like trans women, but you bet you you can bet your bottom dollar that cis women are not taking that number over the top like that. So who's watching it? Oh. If all of these men can't stand trans women, trannies are so disgusting, we're so nasty, don't nobody want us. Who watching it? <laughs> oh. Mm. Who's what? How are so many trans women on OnlyFans paying their rent, their mama rent, and three car notes? 
if all of these men can and y'all see it because a lot of y'all follow the girls within your transphobia you're still living for the girls so a lot of y'all know that i'm not lying because you're following the girls i the uh, top percent the top percent of only fans models are trans women and if you're not buying them and your sister's not buying them and your niece is not buying it who the fuck y'all think paying these girls bills as they sit in front of you and talk about how nasty it is girl, let's not talk about let's not really talk about clientele <laughs> because the same politicians passing laws are the same politicians that have a girl on standby Woo! The same politicians passing these laws are the same people that have the girl's flight information saved in a black book somewhere. And, and listen, so make it make no, sense. No, 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 listen, we give it too much to the politician. Let's talk about some of the, these same mm. basketball player, football player. Mm -mm -mm. These singers. Mm. These rappers. Mm. That be all in the inbox. Mm. Well, done flew the bitch out. Hood dealer. Uh, listen, I know those girls done seen me for years. Say I ain't worked since I was twenty three. I'm forty four years old. Hmm. Y'all know my story. I said told y'all I was a hoe. So some somebody buy me, and I ain't have no high white clientele. Oh, my phone fell. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on now. Make it make sense. Y'all having all of these conversations about trans women, but y'all are not having these conversations about these men that are lying to y'all faces. And y'all believe in it because you want to. Not because it's a good lie. Not because it's a convincing lie. But because you want to believe it. Which brings me back to the to the last statement that I said. We ain't tricking him. He's tricking you. And getting away with it. And getting away with it. Out of all that shit. Now listen, Hope. I'm and I'm, I'm gonna say this because I'm gonna debunk what I'm gonna debunk this. Okay. I do not think that all men are trans attracted. Hold I on. do not think that all men fuck trans women. I do not think that all men are homosexual or gay. I have to say this because I don't think that. What I think is hmm. hard dicks bust nuts. <laughs> hard dicks bust nuts. And you bring your ass up there and put your head on the chopping block by the nigga and lose your head if you want to. Because on the right day, on the right night with the wrong bitch. Bitch on the right day, on the right night, on the on the wrong day, on the right night with his homeboy. Ah! Niggas doing homeboys. They did doing it. Niggas doing homeboys. Niggas doing homeboys. You be like, what the fuck? You can't pull that nigga away from his homeboy. Something wrong. Period. You out here worry about the bitch with the titties and the, 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 the fake bitch. You better worry about that nigga he's smoking with. 24-7. It's, it's, he, it's be crazy. At Twan, he be at Twan House twenty four seven. It's crazy, Hope. It's crazy. Like I try to tell ladies it's when I when I have some real lady friends, I tell them, I say, "Girl, I, we have the same issues. We got the same nigga issues. The same one. The same one. Them nigga. Listen, how you have it? Ain't no more black men. You be like, show sure, lane. They, they fucking the They in the gym with they home. They Cause they the fucking each other. Yes. They fucking each other. 
Y'all, I mean, I really feel like if if a lot of cis women could see the things that we see, these boys low key lightweight don't even want us. Right. They use us half the time as gateways to get to these boys. That is not true. Lies. That's not true. Well, they don't, want, they don't want the fat thin boy. They like the gym thin boy. Oh! Like I said, I don't think that all men are gay. I don't think all men are trans attracted. I don't think all men. Mm. I just know that if a dick get hard, it will bust. Cindy, the TV's leaking. I done seen a nigga put his his dick through a fucking goddamn cereal box and fuck Cindy, it. Cindy, the TV's leaking. Anyway, they don't want, they don't like they don't like these they don't like having these real conversations. Hold these real conversations that we, we these these this is stuff that we have to really really have these conversations because people will be will just block it out and because they got this one train of one train of thinking and you be like girl what world you live in what this one way ass world you live in girl uh, they know better but it's easier to do it's easier to do the the fucked up thing than it is to do the right thing it's hard to be it's hard to be a cis woman and be like Nah, I know what you did. It's easy to be like, oh, I know you got tricked. I know how they do. Because ain't, no, ain't nobody going to question you about why you're defending the trans person if you say, oh, I know how they do. I know how they is. All right. Well, let's dig into it. Let's dig into it, Hope. We're not going to leave the bitches out this shit. Mm-hmm. Some of them trans, girl, trans girls is a mess, too. A hot mess. They're a hot mess, and they do do shit like that. They have. And so they have made a name where it's, 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 it, it's, they do do shit like that. But real niggas eat pussy. We're not going to excuse them bitches, so let's not sit up here and excuse them. Mm -mm. We're Never not going to excuse them. them Never bitches, they have done shit like that. They have. But this is 2021. It's no need to go through that. So can we so can we get into the queen of the pussy stunt? Because she just pulled it the other day. And I had to remind people, oh, okay. I'm going there. And some of y'all ain't gonna like it. And I know Maddie likes to stay out of these things. So I do. I get out of it. Allegedly. <laughs> None of these views represent the views of Madison. But when you're talking about being queen pussy stunt, okay, queen pussy, this is your whole platform. Your, your whole platform is made off of being queen of the pussy stunt. When you get caught pussy stunting, you get on your social media and talk about, this is why trans women die. This is what's wrong with, but you, but this is what you do. You've paid boyfriends to pussy stunt with you. And so, yes, we recognize that some of the girls do play games. Yes, they do. But my thing is, the game is not. people that are ab like you got niggas that are looking for the you have men that are out here looking for the girls i'm never gonna put myself in a situation where you're going to be able to have a choice on whether or not i live or die we're never gonna do that we're never going i'm never gonna put myself knowingly in that situation where you get to decide whether or not it's okay if I live or die. We're n you're not going to do that. And so while we're here, what I'm going to say is, it's your choice, sis. 
Disclosure is your choice. When you decide, when you decide you want to open your mouth, if you decide you don't want to open your mouth, if you've had the operation and you feel like you are just so pussy that you could lie to him about being blah 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 blah, that is your demon that you got to sleep on, that you got to live with. That's your skeleton that lives in your closet. How and so ever, I am never going to give somebody the opportunity, especially in a world that is going to agree with them. on whether or not I live or die. Never. Uh, someone said, can you explain what a pussy stunt is? So the pussy stunning is when you are, but let, let me address this real quick. Apollo Monroe. Doing my sisters is coming on here and saying, fuck that bitch, throwing shade, being hateful, being spiteful. At no point did I call a name or say that I cannot stand what this person does because, bitch, as much of a stunt as it is, I live for the videos, too. How and so ever. If that's how you're going to build your platform, don't cry when every now and then your bubble is burst. So I'm not doing my sisters. I'm holding them accountable the same way that I hold black men accountable, the same way that I hold cis black women accountable, the same way I hold myself accountable when I say some shit I ain't got no business saying because I'm on my high horse that day. And so my thing is, just because I'm trans doesn't mean that trans women are above correction. It does not mean that trans women are above reproach. I don't live in that fake ass activism world where the people on my side can do no wrong because that's not true. And if you're somebody who doesn't want me to hold trans women accountable because I'm trans myself, then we're not, we're not going to get along. Because anytime the girls step out of line, I'm going to make sure that just like I get everybody else together, I'm going to get them together. Period. Now, the pussy stunt is when a girl is very cis-assuming. And most of the time, you have, you have to call it a stunt when she does not have, or it's assumed, right, that she does not have bottom surgery, meaning that she has not gone through the full surgery. And because of her looks and how she appears, a lot of the time she gets through without telling people her teeth. That is the pussy stunt. Now, when we get into the sexual portion of it, there are some girls that will have sex with these men pulling the stunt and not let them know that they indeed just had sex with a trans woman. But what's even worse is that a lot of the time, right? A lot of the time, these girls still have a penis. <clears throat> and it is never okay to not give somebody a choice, especially when you know that a lot of the time, right? these folks are going to do violent things to you. So let's, let's try to stay away from it. If we're not, I think one of the things that I've been loving, I've, I've been in love with Tokyo Jets for a minute. And, um, and one of her latest songs, uh, one of my favorite lines on the song is don't send no nudes if you care about them getting leaked. And that resonates with me because don't do shit when you know the consequences. To me, that was deeper than it just being about news. Don't do things. Do not do things. Apollo, you seem to be the only one that, that's losing it in translation. You, you seem to be the only person on this live that doesn't understand why I'm getting that. So I'm going to need you to, you have to gather yourself around how you feel about what I'm saying. Because everybody else seems to get it. And there's about 600 people on here that, that you the only one. But anyway, but what I wanna what I wanna say is don't do things when you know the consequences. When you when you are a person that understands that what you are doing can be conceived or misperceived or misconstrued or whatever the case may be, don't do it. Well the, okay, well let's let's dissect that a little bit. But I think in that situation that transpired with 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 the lady mm -hmm. that that wasn't the case i think she was just going to her car and someone started you know 
started saying that's a dude and it's this other or whatever, which I feel was was extremely disrespectful and extremely wrong because at what point, like if you go into your car or or if you are just living your regular life mm -hmm. and you as a trans person are going to, men are always going to be attracted to you. It's always going to happen. It's just what it is. There's just, there's just that special thing about it. maybe it's the Maybe it's the genetics <laughs> that's going to pull that situation in. Um, I don't think that it's anyone's business to, to out to spill your tea. I don't think that it's anyone's business to spill your tea, especially if you're just, if this is just something that don't have this non-sexual or non-anything. I Never. do think that it, it is our duty to, to tell people, you know, but only if we're going to have a sexual experience experience i think that's the only that's the only time where it, when it gets down to it because i don't have to walk let every man that's talking to me in the grocery store know hey i'm trans hey i'm trans hey i'm trans but when we get down to the point where we're about to exchange bodily fluids i think that that's the time and place where you start saying hey well let me go ahead on and, and to give you this information Agreed. But I think in that case with, with, with her, that that was not, like, I don't think she was playing a pussy stunt. I don't think. But let's be mindful. I never said nobody's name. <laughs> I never said nobody's name. But everybody knows what's, what just went on. Um, so <laughs> I just think that in that situation that transpired with, with that individual, I think that it was wrong on that man's behalf to do that. Especially, think, you know, with her being walked to the car. Like, she's famous. We famous folks, you know. Bitch, and then we have, like, I've had people tell my kinfolk, you know, that's the man. And they're like, uh, that's my brother, or that's my cousin, or that's my, these, I'm related to this person. Like, why are you, why don't you mind your business? My, my thing with the two, though, and I have a, a big issue, and I think a lot of it is because so many of the black girls and the, you know, so many black and black perceived women, right? Um, in those particular situations, the thing that bothers me is the amount of care that is taken for the feelings of girls that look a certain way that have a certain status and that are not black. Because like I was saying a couple of days ago on a different platform, when the black girls are in situations like that, people don't do us the courtesy of filming from afar. People don't do us the courtesy of waiting until we get in the car and we're safely on the highway somewhere to dish out our tea. People don't do us the courtesy of, of giving us time to maneuver and move. And so what I have an issue with is one, when people have fake care and outrage based off of who and what. And two, when people are not genuinely giving that same amount of care and energy to the group of folks that are actually having the most amount of harm committed to them. Having the most amount of harm committed to them. I think if you want to see division in what I'm saying, you will. Right? If you want to see division in what I'm saying, you will. If you want to hear what I'm saying, you will. But the problem is when you're somebody who's doing the work and not just somebody that's commenting, and you have to hear the stories of the girls who look like me, who look like Madison, who look like the girls in the hood, talk about how they have been physically beaten. When you see the videos of the guys riding around New Orleans with AK-47 sticking out of the car, telling the girls they can't work tonight. It pales in comparison 
when I see somebody who is known for wanting this attention and then they get this attention and cry wolf. Does it make it right? Absolutely not. How and so ever. When you have girls that are actually in the line of danger, in the line of fire on video, and they get on live, and they speak out, and they make it known, you don't use your platform to censor them and their voices. The community that claims that they support you doesn't support them for whatever reason, and we all know. The same people that want to rally behind a lot of this Hollywood-esque drama doesn't want to rally behind the real world issues. And those are my problems. Those are my problems. My issues are not, my, uh, my problem isn't the fact that I don't think that people have the right to feel a certain type of way when they are attacked or called out or embarrassed. My call out is for the overall route my my call out is for the overall lack of give a fuck for the community that is most affected, which is black trans women. When these numbers are coming out, when these numbers are brought to the light, 98%, 85% of these girls are not living in Beverly Hills. They don't have doormen. YouTube ain't sponsoring them. They not light, bright, almost white. They're not laced down to the floor. And yeah, we count the number and we say that's cute and that's whatever, but we don't rally the same way. I got it. But I mean, you know, that situation was definitely wrong though, Hope. It was wrong. He was wrong. I agree. He was wrong. He was late. That was tired. You know, it was. I agree. But we, my thing is, we were having a general conversation <laughs> about the topic. Yes, and I got people, people took it there because that's their fave. And I get it. But I, 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 I'm never going to let a bitch that don't pay none of my bills make me that motherfucking anxious that I feel like I got to defend them. She's a grown ass woman. I've said all the things that I'm saying here on plenty of other lives. She knows exactly who the fuck I am. If she felt some type of way, she would address it. She don't address me because she doesn't see me that way. And I don't see her that way. And that's perfectly fine. But the thing about it is, don't get on here defending your fave, right? But not understanding that your fave, like I told Laverne all those years ago, when we're talking about the people that need protection, I don't want to see people posting pictures of Laverne Cox and Janet Mock. Because those women, while they need to be protected, they are not the face of protection, as we say, as a community and people who are doing grassroots work that need to be protected. When we're talking about people who have covered cars to get to their sets, when we're talking about people that have doormen and that live in, in neighborhoods where you got to have 5,000 gate codes to get into that bitch, we're not talking about those girls. And Laverne understood where I was coming from. Even I understand where you're coming from, Hope, because... Let's let's let me keep it all the way one hundred. I am a girl that that has privilege, you know. But I didn't just get I didn't just come into privilege overnight. Huh. I was a girl that that needed protection, that needed this and the other. But I fought my way through that. Yes, I, I'm a girl now that has covered cars, and you know, I I'm, I am I'm not to I'm not doing it how they do it because I'm a frugal girl of that space, but. I am a girl that, you know, I am this way, you know, like, and I understand what you, I understand what you, what you saying. And I still, but for me, like, I still advocate for, for girls that are sex workers. Like I still, even though I'm, I'm done with that life and I've moved on from that, I'm still an advocate for those. I speak out for those girls that are sex workers that work in the sex industry, whether, whether it's dancing, whether it's, um, whether it's only fans, whether it's porn sites, whether it's prostitution, you know, I, I'm always speaking out because, you know, I was that girl. Mm -hmm. I was that girl. And so that's why it's it was it's more it's important for me, you know, for things, you know, for for protection for the for the for the sex work girl, because I was the sex work girl. But you know, when, when I do you done been to my house, girl, you know I ain't hurrying. 
You done been all up. You done spent. We live for the chateau. You done spent a whole weekend there. You know, I'm we not. Live. Yes, I'm not. You know, you know, I do what I want to do. I go where I want to go. You know, I, I have, I make money. I have money. I, I got, I run my own, my business. So you know, but I, it was not always, it was not always that way for me. And so, I'm always still trying to speak out for the girl that that does it. So, and I get what you're saying. Like, don't use my picture. You know, don't use my picture. Don't use this picture. Don't use a picture for the girl that needs, you know, protection. I get it. I understand what you what you're saying. I get yeah. it. It's it's. Uh, I think honestly, it's about being able to have the uncomfortable conversation and sit with what the truth is of the moment, and not what the truth is of the social societal play. Like, I mean, the truth of the moment is right now. When we think about the people that are more likely to get shot, Madison, it's not me and you. And so why would I take up space in a place where there are people that need that voice? Why would I take up space when I could pass the mic to somebody who is rarely ever heard? Yeah, I know. But if something does happen to one of us, if something happens to Laverne, we we gonna we gonna win me about that shit. Um, some, period. We gonna win me about it. If something happened to you, we gonna win me about that shit. We gonna win me about that things because we are not above those things happening to us. Even though you know we moved in a in a in a in a place, you know we going we are gonna win because that that situation that happened to Laverne earlier this year, you know I was like, girl, you know Mace stab, you know you know, and that's not really Laverne's ministry. Like she don't really get into that. You get what I'm saying? It's it's really not her mystery. Bitch, I'm a mace stab, do all this stuff. I'm gonna go back to the roots of, you know, but not to say that she don't know how, but that's just really not her ministry in that whole situation, you know. So I get it, you know, I get it. I get what you're saying, I get it. But I'm 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 just speaking from the place of that motherfucking person that did that shit to her was dead ass fucking wrong. I have to, to me, that felt like a clout because I once I looked into it and saw who he was. I, I, ain't he some sort of? Ain't he a up and coming YouTuber or something like that too, or or something of, of that nature? He's supposed to be an upcoming YouTuber or something. And apparently, he was just trying to create a story for his YouTube channel and it backfired because people wasn't fucking with what he did. But like I said, in general, there has to be some sort of space for us to take accountability for the energy that we put into the world. And understand that just because we're living in this PC time where everybody wants to make it seem like there should be no accountability given for the way that we live and the way that we look. Yeah, we all want to be in a space where everybody minds their fucking business and everybody lets, leaves people to their own devices as long as you're not hurting children or, you know, raping nobody, you know, or, or killing people. I think that we're, we're in a space where we're moving towards that, but we can't pretend as if we live in a, a space where everybody is just free thinking. And where everybody is pro this and pro that and you can do whatever without judgment or beyond judgment. Mm -hmm. You got to understand that when you set yourself up and we're not talk we're, we're, we're not talking about being just trans in general. But I also know that as a public trans figure, I put my I put a target on my back when I come out as I'm talking about. All of this shit, as I'm advocating for these people, as I just advocated for this little boy. On your back when you went out there in the neighborhood for, for in this neighborhood, I put I put that boy's address for for the people to come and pick him up from that situation. And if one of them niggas from the hood in Atlanta catch me out at Lennox, but I can't play dumb as if I don't know the risk of what it means when I say I'm an activist. Because the difference between being an advocate and being an activist is that advocates use their resources and their access. Mm -hmm. Activists act on things. It is a verb to be an activist. Mm -hmm. You are doing something in the moment. And so as I am activizing, as I am organizing, I understand and I recognize that I'm not going to always be putting myself in a safe situation. Mm. And so when I get on the internet and I say the things that I say and I move the way that I move, I'm doing so understanding that you know what? It may not be right if it happens, but this is what I signed up for. 
this is what I signed up for. Got it. I got it. So before we go, Hope, you know, um, I want you to tell, because just for people that just came in, you know, what's the update on, on the, uh, on Tyler? So right now, uh, they're opening up a case. So they are going to do an investigation based off of the video, which doesn't make sense to me because the proof is in the pudding. He was abused and had the, the, uh, a slur in, in the, what, what they were using it for. He had a slur etched in the side of his head. Why mm -hmm. they need to do an investigation, I have no idea why. But they're doing an investigation based off of the video. They're also going to go into the home and do interviews with the other children because she has three other children. Um, and they're going to do an interview with the mother. The boyfriend who actually inflicted the violence has been nowhere to be found since Is it actually happened. Brother? It's his brother, right? That's the brother, but apparently he's the boyfriend to, to, to somebody. He, he the boyfriend. Like, I don't think he's a, a brother brother. I think that he's like probably like the, the sister's, you know, boyfriend and they call him brother kind of situation because that's real up in the air and, and iffy and the mama kind of being real tight-lipped around who exactly it was and, and how he plays into this entire thing. So we're still trying to figure out who and what he actually is, but he's been MIA since the video went viral. I'm sure. Um, But we do know that as of last night around 12 a.m., uh, CPS did come and get him. The mother confirmed that. Uh, but Devin also confirmed that before CPS came and picked him up, that Tyler was in good spirits. Uh, he received a tablet, some clothes and shoes and things that we were able to kind of sort of rally together and get him. And we are about to launch the GoFundMe. So for all the people that were asking, like, how can I donate? I'm not in Atlanta. I don't know what to do. We're about to launch a GoFundMe. But my biggest thing with launching GoFundMes around stuff like this is that I know Black people. And I know social media. I ain't got time for y'all to ask me a million one questions about where stuff is going or why X, Y, and Z is what it is. And da 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 da. So I sat down with Devin, and we came up with the, the with all of the answers to all of the questions, right? So when oh, I, 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 there's a little space that I missed. So his mother is. Do, are they, do they all live in the same house? Like what's They all live in... So basically that home and what we found out was because when you look up the... Uh, when you actually look at the photo that I uploaded that has the address, the home states that it's an eight-bedroom home. However, it is set up like a duplex. So the part that they occupy is a one-bedroom duplex with five of them living in it. So, it, 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 I mean, they're living in poverty in a one-bedroom place when there are five of them, and one of them is a 15- or 16-year-old girl, you know? And so they're not living in the best of conditions on top of the fact that we're just now coming out of COVID. So imagine what that mother has been going through, right? And this is not making excuses, but this is also to set the scene for people, right? For why or what kind of conditions that this young boy is living in. Mm -hmm. So you have four other siblings. You're living in this one bedroom place. This mom is probably stressed out. All of these things are going on. Y'all are not in the best of the best neighborhoods. And you think that this behavior is okay. And so to be out of that space and to probably be able to sleep in his own bed for the night was probably, I mean, the bomb for Tyler. You know, um, but the GoFundMe is coming. The court date is coming as soon as we have a court date. For those of you all who are in Atlanta that want to show up for Tyler and, mm. um, you know, showcase how you want to be there or whatever the case may be, we're going to make sure that y'all have the, the court date and all of that stuff so that we can all just kind of be there in solidarity. Our goal now that Tyler is out of the house is that we don't want the family to feel like we're there to chastise them or we're there to be like whatever, whatever, whatever. Our goal was to get him out and make sure that he's in a safer place. We did mm -hmm. that. And so now if you're going to show up, show up with the intention to just be there for Tyler. Show up right. with the intention to just, you know, do something good. Um, and this was not a, a Hope Giselle thing. This was a community effort. Uh, De uh, Devin Barrington Ward, who is running for... Um, 
I'm not even sure what he's running for, but he is running for district over there. And that area was amazing at being on the ground. He lives five minutes around the corner. So the time that it took me to drive, he was there. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's one of those things where community came together. I might have blew the horn, but community was like, okay, we hear you. So what you need us to do? Um, yeah, I see people in the comments. And there's one thing that, that, that when we were talking about this earlier that someone addressed in the comments and they said... Um, so you've taken him, they've, he's been taken out of the home and put into what? He's been put into now, what in Miami we call the DCF. Um, and I think in Georgia it is called DFACS, but it is the Child Care Protection Center. And we all know that those are not the best conditions. Mm -hmm. So we're not saying that it's out of the clear. We're not saying that the work is done. We are working diligently, diligently to hold them accountable to make sure that he doesn't just fall by way or fall through the cracks or whatever the case may be. Um, so that is not what's happening here. We're not going to say like, oh, the work is done because defects got him. We're trying to make sure that at this court date, they either have people who are looking to be guardians or they have somewhere where he can go with a relative, like a family member that'll be able to take him. Um, and that is our hope. So the fight is not over. We got him out of the house where he knew, where we know that he was sure by going through some stuff. But now we want to make sure that he doesn't just end up in the foster care system with people who don't give a shit. We've right. actually had some people step up to the plate. We've had some folks, you know, who have already offered to like foster him, which is amazing. But he's also made it very clear that he does not want to be far away from his siblings. So if you cannot, you know, also foster his siblings, then we're going to need to make sure that you live in Atlanta because he loves his siblings. He wants to make sure that he doesn't have to leave them. So that's a big thing for him. Let me tell you something, Hope. Out of all that, and we still love him. All of that. Out of the... Out of the mm. All of that. The mom is making provisions for the other children. They they were not taken last night. For those of y'all who are um who are asking, the mother was not. Um, she's making provisions for the rest of them, but they were not taken out of the home as of right now. It was just Tyler. Um, so that's just kind of like what we have right now. We're still waiting on, but we're not probably we're probably not gonna hear anything back about a court date until Monday because of the holiday today and then obviously the weekend. So we're just kind of waiting on the court date so that we can all show up in love. Um, but to be quite honest with y'all, that baby needs shoes. That baby needs clothes. We need to make sure that baby can eat. Um, you know, just all of the things. So that's what this GoFundMe is for. It is going into an account for my nonprofit, not mine, not my own. It is being monitored. I ain't touching nothing because I don't want y'all to say nothing. And the second that I can hand it over to a local uh, Atlanta uh, organization, I am going to because I don't have time for y'all on the social media and the social webs, okay? I make enough money. I do not need to make a GoFundMe for a child and abuse it at all. Um, but just to answer the general questions, that is what the GoFundMe is for. It is to make sure that he has clothes, shoes when he needs them. And in case um, there are any medical fees that come up for like therapists or people who need to be paid, uh, whatever the case may be, that's what that'll go to. And when he has a guardian that is given to him, that guardian will then have access to all of the funds to make sure that they can take care of whatever his initial needs are, getting him a bed, whatever the case may be. Um, but that is what this is for. So that's what we have right now. And I mean, if y'all follow me, then y'all know I'm gonna keep y'all updated on whatever is going on. You don't have to follow me. This is not a follow hope train. Please feel free to follow Devin Barrington Ward. He also will keep will keep y'all updated. Feel free to follow Maddie. I'm gonna post something. She'll post it on her story. This is not for y'all to follow me. I could care less. But if you would like to to get the updates, I'll be posting them. So that's that's all the information that we have right now about Tyler. Okay. That just hurt me so bad, just thinking about, like, out of all that, and the child still reaching out to his, those are his, that's all you got. And people really don't get in this world, like, when you when you gay or trans or in this world, like, you really want your blood. You really want, it's one thing to have a support system of a community of, of people or, or, or a chosen family, but it's another thing to have that blood connection. 
I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. My siblings never pulled no shit like how you know his people played, but I love my babies. Like I, I, I like, like I ain't gotta talk to my mama ever, but my my brothers and my sisters like ain't nothing like it. There, there's nothing. There is nothing like it. I don't have to ever talk to my mama again. That stuff just hurt my. That just hurt my heart because it just took me back to that conversation you was having to, to me with me about my daddy. Like, and I'm 44 years old, and I'm still over there. Like, I just want to know. I just, just, can't, I, I'm, I, I don't, I'm not begging you to see me as a human being, and especially as somebody who's supposed to love me unconditionally. I'm not begging you to see the humanity in me ever. It's too many of us in this community, this gay community, that spend so much time with the, but that's my mama, but that's my nanny, but that's my daddy, but that's my da 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 begging them to see us as human beings. And I'm not doing it. You either get it, you either see me as something special and valid, or you don't. But I'm not about to, I'm not groveling down. I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not doing it. I don't give a fuck what the tie is. I'm not doing it no more. That was a lasting thought for me because it just, it still made, it just. That episode still kill. that episode still kills me. Because if people only saw the two I conversations we had before that one, where yeah. it was worse. Yeah. Anyway. All right, y'all. We done chop. We done chopped it up. Hope I'm gonna call you when we when I get me something to eat because it's um it's four thirty here. And okay. where you you in you in Atlanta? Or you in where you? I'm in Atlanta. You in Atlanta? Oh yeah, because so it's seven thirty over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna say this live, and I'm gonna put this live on um on my YouTube or whatever. Just and, and, and hope give me send me this stuff where I can put it in the description. I will. Know, like that, you know. Um yeah. That just really made me think. Like when you was like, he said he don't want to be. Mm. That and I mean he he stressed it, and then he had to, he stressed it again because Devin, when we were coming to terms with how we were gonna set up the GoFundMe and stuff, and you know what we were gonna put in it, Devin was like, he's he's very adamant about not wanting to be away from his siblings. So if he is adopted, you have to live in Atlanta. I wonder after this what they are what they are gonna learn. I would hope that any and everybody that saw how this went down now sees one the power of the community for real. Because I think that they thought that it was just like a corporate thing, like oh LGBT people can get you canceled. But now I hope that they understand and they know that we coming for our own. We're protecting our own. Yeah. And I, I think I hope that the family recognizes that it's not that deep. It should have never been that deep. It should have never gotten to the point where y'all felt it necessary and where y'all felt safe to degrade that young man and post it. Yeah. And, and I hope that any other family, any other homophobe, homo negative, trans negative person out there in the world that has thought about it, that was thinking about it, that did it, I hope that this story resonated with you. Because having your children taken away from you, having DCF or DFAX or whomever, whatever it is in your state, come into your home at 12 o'clock at night and take one of your children isn't worth it. Right. I love you, Hope. Send love me all the Text it to me so I can I put it in the description. Um, and I'll call you later on this tonight if it's not too late. I've got to get me some food now. Love you okay. too, Charles. Love you. I'm not mad at nothing. At all. I'm not mad. I hope not mad either. We just, we, 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 I'm glad that you, we were able to have this conversation and really just like really have a full conversation about. But that shit, that last part just hurt my heart. This just really hurt my heart. Like that, how we watched y'all abuse this boy. Hmm. Y'all, that was abuse. That was mental abuse. That was physical abuse. We watched it, you, and this boy is gay, and that, this boy still 
love y'all. We still be loving our, we still be loving them. We still love our mama. We still love our, our dads. We still love our people still, and they be hating us. Hmm. I'm going to call you Hope. All right, y'all. Love you guys. Bye, everybody.